So um, the first thing we will need to do is to um, create a player. So let's go to Flash Builder and open up our main class. And this is what's happening. Yeah, we have a start menu which has some event listeners. If um, the play button gets clicked, then um, the start game function gets called, which is uh, here score display is a new score display, and it adds it, and it's going to clean up our start menu. But the thing which is missing is the game. So let's create that. Let's create a variable private var game, which is a class game. And let's add that game is a new game, and let's add that game. And if we save it, it's gonna error saying that um, there is no class game. So let's create that class file new action script class, and let's name it game. Now, game's super class would be a sprite, and we can press finish. So here's our um, game class, and this is odd. Ah, the definition of base class sprite was not found. Yeah, this is a uh, problem I've been running into with Flash Builder. It doesn't import anymore, so we will need to do this manually. So import flash dot display dot sprite. Save it, and now that's fine alright now the game has um, several things going on the game has uh, contains the player and the game contains um, any possible diamonds which would appear um, the game con uh, contains all the objects which are um, coming towards the player as well as um, a merely decorational background of stars just passing by now let's first work on our player so Create a variable private bar player of type player and let's create that player. Upon saving, we'll get a similar error stating that the player class can't be found, or at least. Nah. We're in luck, it's not saying that. Ah, oh, well, nevertheless, we do need to create a player class. So, new action script class, name it player. Its super class is a sprite. Um, again, import the sprite class. Alright. Now, um,. The player needs to use a microphone to determine its height. So, um, if we um, we need to sorry we need to access that uh, microphone, which we do as follows. To get the microphone working, we need to do quite some stuff. So it makes sense to get it inside a separate function, which we'll name it microphone, and let's create that function. Alright, um, we will need a microphone variable. And um, we'll need some other variables, but we'll discover them on the way. Now, microphone is. Um, we call the microphone class and we tell it to get microphone. Now, um, to do so, we need to import that class. So, import flash dot media dot microphone and yeah now we got our microphone but we still need to do stuff with it for some reason one needs to um, set a certain property namely set loop pack call that function to um, get access to the activity level of a microphone and the activity level is a number which goes from 0 to 100 which basically is the volume of the um, sound it receives um, to be able to receive it, we must set it to loopback. But loopbacking does something, namely it everything that goes in the microphone goes out of the speakers, 
and that's a mess because what happens when you say something it comes out of the speakers your microphone picks it up it goes again through the speakers it gets endlessly um, intensified and that's also that shriek which you often hear when a microphone goes near a speaker um, yeah we need to um, somehow disable the volume yet keep our set loop back going so we need to use a sound transform so let's create that import that class and now let's um, create that sound transform so we're gonna say our mix sound transform is equal to the current sound transform which is attached to um, to the microphone and then we're going to um, set that volume to zero so and afterwards we are going to um, set the microphone sound transform back to the one we just created Um, there's an error. Maybe this is the correct spelling. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, just to point that out, by mistake I had set set loop back with a lowercase b. It needs to be an uppercase b. All right, now we got access to our um, microphone, and um, just to, just so you see what happens if we have our main. Our main starts the game, which launches our game class. Our game class launches our player class, and um, yeah, so let's just see what happens. All right, so we get this security window, which we want, um, because that shows that we are using the microphone. So that's great. Now um, you can just close that window. After we got access to our microphone, we do need to use it. And uh, the property we need is a uh, variable or property which the microphone has the activity level, which goes from 0 to 100, which is the volume. Um, yeah, we basically want to constantly check what that activity level is. So we're going to add an event listener which uh, checks the whole time. Well, you guessed it right, we need an enter frame uh, event listener. And we are going to call the function position player because that's what we're doing. So let's create that function. Like so. Um, don't forget to import that class. So import flash dot events dot event. And for now let's just trace that activity level just to see if it's working. And if we press play, we um, get the warning screen saying that a microphone is being accessed. Let's press allow, and it should be showing. Yeah, there you see it. Um, if it's zero, there's silence. And if I'm talking, then you see numbers which resemble the volume. Um, yeah, um, shield your ears. I'm gonna shout. Let's just see if we can get a 200. Da! Yeah, we can. So that's good. Um, now we need to use that uh, information somehow. So let's go back to our player. There are two coordinates which uh, we need to need to adjust. Um, the first one is simply its x coordinate. So let's just simply to keep a, a neat call function in the position which is going to go right here uh, 
and we're going to set its X to 50 just so it doesn't touch the left side of the screen. Using the microphone's activity level, um, we can set the position of our player. And to do so, we have the following formula. Um, the Y, so its height, um, is 300, which is the area that it's allowed to uh, fly around in, 300 pixels, minus the height to prevent that it... it it navigates out of those 300 pixels um, minus a um, factor which goes from 0 to 1 um, of that activity level times the um, area which it's allowed to fly in which is 300 minus height. If we're gonna save this and test it that means um, our plane is at this position and if I say nothing it is not at the bottom. Um, yet I only wanted to use 300 pixels. What I need to do is shift the whole game 100 pixels down so that the um, player touches the bottom yet it only has 300 pixels to fly around in. So go back to the game and let's just um, set that so y equals 100 which moves it downwards and if we now test it our player is at the bottom and yet if we're gonna shout um, it's not going to um, reach the top so that is our player class for now we're still later going to add an animation um, so our player is going to blink when it collides with something, but for now our player class is fine.